Do not buy Forspoken for the PlayStation 5 or- Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on it. How you all doing? We got a whole lot of- Toxic gamers. We're gonna be getting right into the story. Let me show you the streets, man, because I'm telling you, gaming, it's all about no games and just drama. Just constant, endless drama. But this time, it is a little bit suspect, okay? Like, bruh. Let me tell you, man, the fact that they are giving no review codes, no review codes, we're gonna dive into it, drop a thumbs up, and let's check it out, man. Something about this game is incredibly suspicious. I mean, I know mm. that for the most part, Square Enix actually deserves quite a bit of credit. I do wanna start this video off by saying that this is not coming from a place of hatred. I'm not just trying to bag on the game because I thought the demo kind of sucked. I'm saying this because for the most part, I do feel like, I mean, Square Enix has been doing incredibly good over the course of the last couple years with doing big experimental projects. I mean, obviously they have their money makers like Final Fantasy, but think about the fact that they're doing things like Octopath Traveler, Lost Sphere, the Live Alive remake, even weird stuff like Balan Wonderworld. Like, this game is complete freaking garbage, but I have to give credit what? to the fact- what? Oh my god! <laughs> What? I mean, it feels like Square Enix is the one studio, the one major publisher that is willing to experiment, to go outside their comfort Damn. zone, even if it doesn't turn a big profit. But for Spoken, I truly believe this game is going to be hot garbage. <laughs> and I <w> Oh, <laughs> 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 shit! Oh, bro, bro! Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> toxic gamers, toxic gamers. Now, I'll tell you this, man. I'm personally also not into Forspoken. Shocker, I guess so. I'm not into Forspoken. This is not my cup of tea. I'm not hating on the game, but I'm also not buying the game because I'm not into it. Does that make sense? Probably makes sense. Okay, let's uh, smash the like button for that one. But listen, this is hella suspect. I, I have to agree with this one because no review codes. And before you're like a skizzle, nobody should be getting review codes. They, they should stop it. And it's good that they're not giving it because this way the game will not be leaking out. Wrong. Wrong. In this day and age, that's inevitable. Because this is how marketing works, my guy. Because the, the thing is that they can give out review codes to a lot of YouTubers, a lot of influencers. This way they get to play the game, the entire game, they upload it early, privately on their channel. This way the, the content creators are able to benefit. Uh, this way the the, uh, the companies are able to benefit because they are getting the gameplay across from the perspective of an influence. I know influencer, I, I get it. They get the gameplay across from the perspective of an influencer and most of the time they would have nice things to say. Most of the time. Sometimes, yeah, there are like some YouTubers that would try to speak the truth, but again, they cannot tell you everything. They can in fact not tell you nothing at all. They won't be able to give their negative input because the second they do next time they will not be invited out the next time next time they won't be able to get early access to the game right i i guess you understand that right no review codes this time it is hella sus especially in this day and age hella suspect so if you're into the game you need to note this point for sure i want to explain why what's up gamers dreamcast guy here hi oh, hope you're having a starting. great day if you could like this video and drop a thumbs up because be really starting right now boys subscribe if you haven't already so first and foremost i want to start things off by taking a look at this uh, article over here on emo pulse which is a very funny name for a website. Apparently, Bruh. nobody is getting review codes for Forspoken. Not on PlayStation 5, not on PC. Apparently, even though this game technically comes out here in just a couple days, nobody has access to it. And that okay. includes me. I've actually talked to a lot of different reviewers. I usually get games... Ow! So, so is he making this video because he was not given early access? Bruh. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Ah! Got him! <laughs> I think, I think so, ladies and gentlemen. I think... <laughs> You imagine he really read this video because uh, where is my review code? <laughs> I need I need my review code. I need my review code. But no, nah, he does have a point because like no review codes. That's hella suspect. Way in advanced. Uh, just so I have time to make content, to beat it, to platinum it sometimes. And in my personal experience, the more confident a company is with the project itself, the sooner you get the code. I mean, recently I've been playing a bunch of Monster Hunter Rise on the PlayStation 5. I had that game a full month before it came out. One time Bruh. there was a game coming out to Yakuza 6. A I had Yakuza 6. A month before my guy like what is it is it the la la land or something because god dang god dang because there are youtubers that get early access like two days before god damn my guy got like a month before Sheesh. two That's months crazy. before it was released and that game was fantastic now this god isn't damn. always indicative of a completely broken project there have of course been those outlier examples stuff like doom eternal didn't really give out that many review codes and not that early on and doom eternal is a complete masterpiece but this makes me highly suspicious 
First Spoken is a brand new title from Square Enix that's launching on consoles, coming up for the PlayStation 5 very soon. Fans have typically come to expect a certain level of quality for games associated with the PlayStation, but the recent news surrounding First Spoken has many people concerned about this upcoming release. Now this guy right here, Andy Robinson, this is the head of Video Game Chronicle. He is the owner, he is one of the writers, and he has said straight up, look, we're not going to be making a freaking Forspoken review on Monday when the game releases, <laughs> since Square Enix is not supplying them with a review oh, code. That's extremely you. rare for us, so read into it how you like. Oh, now other shit. people are saying oh, stuff like this, this is skill up, skill up a major 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 reviewer one of the yeah. biggest independent reviewers on the planet and he's saying yeah, I have skill up is one of those guys that will tell you like 50 percent of the truth i, I like skill up man listen i, I like skill uh, skill up Bruh. his reviews are very very good he tries to give you the truth but even then you know for the fact that he cannot give you all the truth because if he does he's not gonna get early access next time and it's totally understandable listen i'm not attacking anyone i'm not attacking any content creators i'm not attacking anyone that gets early access because or truly if you want to get early access you gotta play the game by the rules and if you don't if you start like speaking the truth if you start like going at it uh, and say that this game is a zero out of ten one out of ten even if you go below five out of ten god damn you're considered toxic you're considered problematic you're considered on the list of no fly, no fly, you know, no early reviews, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy, bro. Now heard Bruh. from six or seven different major gamers and reviewers, we did not get a review code for this. As always, no outlet is entitled to a code, but this yeah, limited facts. code is a huge flag. Facts. I've also heard that all of the outlets are not getting access to a PC code oh, yet. Damn. Now, one of the interesting aspects about this entire controversy is that a lot of people have been very suspicious about these PC requirements. So they showed this off just a couple days ago. And in case you don't understand PC jargon, which even I myself, I'm not super familiar with it. These are- Yeah, uh, yeah, bro, I'm a console peasant. I'm not a PC masterist guy. Any PC masterist guy here, drop a bumble. Bumble! Oh God. Absolutely and crazy. I mean, these are completely insane computer specs. This basically means to run the game on just standard, normal graphics, you're going to have to have uh, a top of the line PC. I mean, seriously, oh, for the Ultra, some of this hardware is stuff that came out months ago. Like they literally built this game apparently for computer parts that Bruh. didn't even exist during the development, which tells me Bumble this God. game is incredibly unoptimized, which essentially means that when you're trying to make a game, you want it to be as smooth as possible. The code, the engine, all the little bits and bobs to be as flawless as possible so that when you play it, it looks as you know clean as it can. It has the highest resolution, the best frame rate. And people have noticed this, unfortunately, is not just a PC problem. Apparently, people have been doing a technical breakdown of the free PlayStation 5 demo they released, and apparently the game if you put it on 60 frames a second mode, it can actually go down to 720p. Now, this is complete. Okay, man, listen. Emotional. God damn, it. damn bro. Hey, yo, like, what the f? Like, like, <laughs> bro, like, come on, man. Like, in, in performance mode, with 60 FPS, it works in dynamic resolution with the highest resolution being 1440p and the lowest resolution. I mean, god damn, it should have. Usually the resolution is less than bruh. Completely unacceptable. In my opinion, this is a 30. PlayStation 5 game. H how is it that in 2023, we're supposed to be accepting a $70 experience that straight up runs at a definition that my TV is 4K. I haven't had a 720p TV in so many years. Like this is so understandably ridiculously, like people are actually upset. And I think that- Toxic gamer, if you if you question, you're a toxic uh, hater. Gaming, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> gaming. That anger is very justified. Something about Forspoken is broke. Something about Forspoken is incredibly suspicious. And I truly believe that even Square Enix knows that. They decided to release a final launch trailer. The launch trailer for the game is 24 seconds long and it's just Bumble generic God. combat. Now, I want to just say, I am not completely opposed to this game blowing my mind. I'm still going to review the game myself. I still want to check it out. But something about this seems very, very off. In my experience, it feels like when Square Enix or any major publisher has a unique IP, they like to show it off. If you are trying to do something that's big and new and different, you like to shout about it, which means dumping more money into the budget. Big, new, and different are the words gamers are afraid to say in this climate, ladies and gentlemen, because nothing is nothing is big anymore, ladies and gentlemen. But click on this video on the screen. Xbox went crazy. This is the angriest video I ever made. Click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left because this Karen goes crazy.